In this video we will look at placing 3D objects into Plans Express 3D model using 3D objects provided in a third-party software called AEC EasyBlock. Please note that EasyBlock is only available with Plans Express 2020 Premium Edition and above and for users with current support and updates. Before looking at this video, please make sure you have viewed part one of the series. Note again that none of the 3D AEC Easy Block objects are estimated. They are provided simply to improve the realism of the model and enable viewers to get a better idea of the space within the building. Let's have a look at the 3D model which we have populated with furniture and external fences by first switching off the external walls. Go to the Visibility tab, find the walls, switch them off and refresh the drawing. Now you can clearly see all the 3D symbols. To place an additional object, click on the Non-Estimated Symbols tab and select the 3D architectural objects. The dialog pops up. You can change its size if you wish. Look down the left hand side at the various categories. Let's choose storage. In this case we'll identify a wardrobe. Click on the wardrobe. Edit the dimensions. You can then alter the colours. Click on the Alter Colours and Layers. In the resulting dialog you can adapt the colours. For example, the main body of the wardrobe is coloured brown. This is associated with the 3D bedroom wood layer. This same layer is used by all objects in bedrooms. The benefit of this is that when you export the object to Photo Visualizer, and change the colour of one bedroom object, all other matching objects will change colour simultaneously. Double click on the layer. Choose the colour you wish to change it to. You can either use the interface here by moving the space around. Let's make it a light grey colour. Or you can use the picker to select a colour off the screen. This is sometimes useful if you're trying to match up to brickwork for example. Click OK and the colour of the wardrobe is changed. You can change the handles in the same way. Note you can choose an alternative layer by selecting it in the pull down menu. Once you're happy with the object click OK, press insert Choose the layer that you wish the furniture to sit on. You can add your own layers if you wish. Click OK. And place the wardrobe on the drawing. Use the Shift key to make sure the object is placed orthogonally. When you have placed the object, press refresh on the drawing and the wardrobe appears. Note that by default furniture automatically sits on the level that you place it within. Other objects such as toasters and microwaves which sit on worktops have to have their height set relative to the floor level they are sat on. For example, 900 millimeters above the date and floor level. For objects such as heads, sills and chimneys, you will need to measure their height above their respective level boxes from the elevations before selecting the symbol. For objects such as fencing, 
you will need to first measure the length of the fence. Note again that if you wish to estimate the fence as well, you must first place a 2D estimated object on the drawing. For items such as the portico shown on the drawing, this has been assembled by sizing each of the component parts from the stonework library, defining the height of each component above the level and placing this on the plan. Once you have created a portico, you should consider saving this to your own template of symbols for reuse to save time in the future. If we look at the template I have created personally for my own use, you will see that I have transferred a variety of room settings for which I can copy into any drawing to populate a house very quickly. For example, I can copy and paste the sun loungers from the template into my main drawing using Ctrl C and Ctrl V or using the respective buttons in the menu. Select the objects, press Ctrl C, return to the original drawing and place the loungers on the drawing using Ctrl V. You can then manipulate the drawing in the usual way. Press refresh and the chairs appear on the 3D model. Note that by default the pasted object will acquire the colours of the respective layers in the new model. You may have been wondering where the sun loungers came from. These have actually been created from the standard garden chairs and stretching them. If I select one of those chairs you can see at the top of the screen that the scale has been stretched at 1.2 in the X direction and by a factor of 3 in the other direction. This raises the interesting idea that you can often repurpose things like corner posts and beams to cover off the ends of walls and create copings etc. Let's have a quick look in the non-estimated symbols. For argument's sake I look in the stonework you can see that there is a jam here. I can make that any width and any height and use it to cover off the ends of walls etc. Or change the dimensions to act as a corner post. In the same way I could use the string course by changing the dimensions to act as a coping stone or to blank off the end of a floor. Alternatively for copings you could adapt the 3D wall symbols. Generally I would recommend that you use Plans Express walls for the main body of the wall, as these will be automatically estimated and are textured by Plans Express accurately. The third party EasyBlock symbols for walls are not always consistent when viewed in Plans Express. Let's select the walls and fencing section. Here you can see an array of different brick and block walls, complete with copings etc. To adapt the walls to utilise the copings, define the size of each coping you require, setting the coping width and chamfer. Set the wall height and thickness to zero. and in this case the overall coping length has been set to 4000. You need to measure the length of the coping before you open up the 3D symbols. Finally, define the height of the wall, or in this case the coping height, to the height above floor. This will then place the coping on top of the wall showing the 3D coping joints, further adding to the realism of the image. 
Once again, you can change the colors and textures layer. When you have completed all the variables, press the insert button and place on the drawing. In addition to the colors and layers tools provided within EasyBlock, you can also apply textures within Plans Express itself. Let's have a look at applying Plans Express textures to the bedroom furniture. Locate the textures command in the views and 3D menu. Select the symbol layers, scroll down and identify the 3D bedroom wood layer. Press set, choose whether you wish to apply a texture or colour, double click, select a texture you're happy with, click OK, press refresh. And you can see that all the wardrobes and bedroom furniture on the same layer are automatically textured. Using the Plans Express texture tools, you can edit all objects to create quite realistic models. However, you may wish to limit what you do in Plans Express and instead use Photo Visualizer, which enables more control over colors, textures, texture orientation, and lighting effects. Let's have another look at EasyBlock symbols. If I have a look at the partitioning, you can see that you can change the dimensions of a glazed partition to act as a shower cubicle or maybe even a balcony. It's just a question of using your imagination a little bit. You can also see that there are corner partitions that you can adapt and use in different circumstances, such as a corner post. In the next video, We'll be exporting the model into Photo Visualizer to create fantastic photorealistic models.